hello welcome back having seen uh, a couple of controls now we we'll, let's create a small utility application a small calculator on the way we will be seeing the concept of memory variable also so it's a very simple in, in, uh, interface two labels two text boxes one command button and a label for showing the result this I'm calling it as integer one another label or oh, another text box or txt int one we'll just copy it paste it digit two This txt into another label called result. Another label for showing the result. So I'm blanking the control plus auto size is false. Otherwise, the control will automatically shrink and enlarge as per the value it holds. So let's make it static by setting the order size property defaults and border style to fi fix it trading and a command button called add. Name is BDN add. Here I'm defining the memory variable. For the defining memory variable, you use the dim statement, dim i as integer, dim j as integer, dim r s as integer. Well, before proceeding further, let's see another option. You might be thinking why what's need for a memory variable. So I'm just typing like this. LBL RES. LBL RES. That is the result. I think I didn't change the name. Dot text is equal to I'm just giving the name of the text boxes here and it's text plus I won't be getting the result I am expecting so let's see what happens I'm typing 56 and 34 I'm getting only a concatenated value. So here what happens is that 56 and 34 were taken as, though it is numeric value, it is treated as a string. And those strings were concatenated and shown. That's not what we want. So it, gen it shows that it, it won't work. In fact, this example does not require a memory variable. You can variable type here the value, but we'll see the memory variable way. So I'm just deleting off the whole thing. I is equal to, here we are seeing one method of in32 integer dot parts method for converting that into integer the contents of the text box dot text j is equal to integer dot parts txt into dot text Now you're getting the actual integer value. Now we can do the arithmetic addition i plus j and you can show that value inside the label. Let's run it. And you're getting the output. Very simple 
calculator application which shows the conversion of data types and the like and also integer memory. 